setting up your out-of-office message in Microsoft Teams. Whether you're heading on vacation, taking a personal day, or just stepping away from your desk, it's essential to let your team know you're not available. And Teams makes it incredibly easy. Before we dive in, it's important to know that your Teams calendar is synced with your Outlook. So, when you set your out-of-office message in Teams, it will automatically sync with your Outlook and vice versa. To get started, click on your profile picture in the top right corner. A menu will appear, and you'll see an option to set status message. Now, a status message is great for short, quick updates like in a meeting until 3 p.m., just like this. But for a true out-of-office, you want to select Set Out-of-Office Scheduling. Now we're in the out-of-office settings. First, toggle on the Turn on Automatic Replies switch. This opens up the message box where you can type your personal message. Let's write something simple and clear. I'm currently out of the office and will respond when I return. Next, you can decide whether to send this reply to people outside your organization. This is a great feature if you work with external clients or partners. I'm going to check the box for send replies outside my organization and select all external senders. This ensures everyone who messages me, both internal and external, gets my out of office message. You can add the same message here, or if you prefer not to let external senders know you're away, you can choose to only send it to your known contacts. Now for the schedule. I highly recommend checking the box for send replies only during a time period. This lets you set an exact start and end date for your message. Let's set the start date for September 9th. By default, Teams sets the end date for the next day at the same time, giving you a 24-hour window. But you can easily change this to match your schedule, whether it's for a week or a month. Just a heads up, if you don't check this box, your out-of-office message will stay on until you manually turn it off. So, it's a good option if your return date is flexible, but you'll need to remember to turn it off when you're back. But for today, let's set a concrete example. I'll select my start date for the 7th of September at 7 p.m. and the end date for the 8th of September at 7 p.m. Once you're all set, just hit save, and there you have it. You can now see my status has changed to out of office. From my perspective, since I'm online, it shows as out of office available. But to others, my status will show as out of office. And if they try to message me, they'll instantly get my automatic reply. If they send me an email, they'll get an automatic reply there too. Now, what if your vacation gets cut short and you need to come back early? Maybe your manager called and said, we need you back now. Don't worry, you don't have to wait for your scheduled end date. You can simply go back to your profile picture, select set status message, and you'll see your out of office message is still on. Just toggle it off, click save, and you're back in business. And that's all there is to it. You're now an expert at setting your out of office message in Teams. It's a simple step that makes a big difference in ensuring you can truly disconnect. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips. See you in next one.